This is a recording of pages 46 through 49 of Animal Behavior, Animal Defenses by Christina Wilsden. Shells. A sturdy shell is the primary defense for a variety of very slow moving animals, such as turtles, tortoises, snails, and clams. Turtles and tortoises are reptiles with bodies enclosed in shells. Turtles spend much or all of their lives in water, while tortoises live on land. Both have shells made of two parts, an upper section called the carapace and a lower section called the plastron. The shell is basically a sturdy box made of bone. The inside of the carapace is made of bones fused together. These bones include the turtle's spine and ribs. The plastron is made of bone too. In most species, the outside of the carapace is covered with plates made of a tough material called keratin, the same substance that forms hooves and fingernails. These plates are called scutes. Some turtles have just a few scutes embedded in a thick skin on the carapace. Some have none at all. Many turtles can pull their heads, tails, and legs partly or fully into their shells. Box turtles have hinged plastrons so they can close the openings in their shells. Desert tortoises fold their thick scaly legs in front of their withdrawn heads to form a shield. A turtle can stay inside its shell for hours waiting for its predator to give up. It will stay tucked in while a predator sniffs it or rolls it around. Snails, clams, mussels, and other mollusks are also protected by shells. The soft, boneless body of a mollusk is covered with a kind of skin called a mantle. In the mantle are glands that produce the materials that form the shell. These materials include minerals that the mollusk gets from its food and from the water, sand, or soil in which it lives. The snail seems to carry its shell on its back, but much of its body is actually inside the shell. If threatened, the snail pulls its head and muscular foot inside the shell. Many kinds of snails seal the shell's opening with a hard plate on the end of the foot. Sea snails, called limpets, have feet that work like suction cups and help them grip rocks firmly so that they are difficult to pry off. Insect armor. Most insects' tough exoskeletons protect their bodies from predators and from drying out. However, some insects, including young insects, such as caterpillars, have soft bodies. They benefit by adding an extra layer of protective armor. Scale insects, for example, are named for the armor they produce. A young scale insect finds a spot on a plant where it can feed. Then its body oozes substances that form a shield over it. The insect lives underneath this shield. Different kinds of scale insects make different kinds of shields. Armored scale insects make very hard waxy shields. Soft scale insects make softer waxy coverings or shields that look like balls of cotton. Ground pearls, which are related to scale insects, make round waxy covers that look like beads. Caterpillars of some moths make a sticky, bumpy covering for their bodies. Ants that bite these caterpillars end up with jaws full of goo. The ants' bodies and legs are also become coated with the slime. The ants must work hard to scrape off the sticky material, which keeps them too busy to try to attack again. Clams, oysters, and mussels are all bivalves, mollusks with two-part shells. A bivalve is a hinge between the halves of its shell. Depending on the species, it can partly or fully close its shell around its body. Many bivalves burrow deeply in sand or mud to stay hidden from predators, such as seabirds. Mollusks, called Chidens have shells made out of eight plates. A chidden clings to a rock with its wide, flat foot. As it grazes on algae, it hangs on tightly enough to prevent being washed away by waves. If a predator manages to pull off of the rock, the chidden rolls up into an armor-plated ball. In recent years, researchers discovered a snail living on the deep sea floor that actually wears metal armor. This snail has not only a protective shell, but also extra tough skin. Scales made of minerals, including iron, cover its soft body. Scales, scutes, and skin. Tough skin and scales may be unusual in snails. However, they are typical armor for many other animals. Armadillos, for example, are armor-plated mammals that live in Central and South America, as well as parts of the Southern United States. Their name, which means little armored one in Spanish, refers to their bony armor. 
Scientists call the armadillo's armor a carapace. The carapace is made up of bony plates arranged in bands around the armadillo's body. The plates are covered by a tough skin. Each bony band is separated from the ones next to it by a band of skin allowing the armadillo to flex its body. The armadillo found in the United States is called the nine-banded armadillo. Its armor covers its head, body, legs, and tail. Only its belly and ears are unprotected. 